Hey there friends, so imagine this. One day you have the hankering for Taco Bell, but you don't want to go outside. And you also don't want to spend money on Taco Bell or to pay for delivery. And now you just happen to have all these ingredients we're about to go over and you want a Crunchwrap Supreme. This is why I bring us together today. All right, first things first. I'm the realist. Just kidding, just kidding, sorry. I wanna quickly go over the different layers of the Crunchwrap Supreme and what we, what we will be assembling today. So first things first, we need a nice big supportive tortilla to hold all of our filling. Next, we're gonna add some nacho cheese. Apparently, graphics of ground beef don't exist that aren't raw, and I didn't wanna, we're not putting raw meat in this, so let's play pretend and pretend this looks like ground beef. And then on top of that, we're gonna add our tostada shell to get that nice crunch. And then after that, we'll add a nice drizzle of sour cream, some shredded lettuce, some tomatoes. I think they're typically diced, but the world of graphics is very limited. Then we're gonna add our shredded cheese, add another tortilla on top, and then voila, you you just do some fun folding and there you go, we have a Crunchwrap Supreme. All right, let's get into it. So first off, we gotta dice those tomatoes. I recommend getting a serrated knife. It helps cut the tomatoes much more cleanly and you're not like bruising the tomato. So we're gonna dice it up, make it look cute. Tomatoes are a great source of potassium, which is good for your heart. So eat your tomatoes. Next, we're gonna dice up some onion. So I'll admit this is a technique I've not done myself, but my handy dandy assistant, aka Bobby, has taken it upon himself to showcase this new skill. So let's learn, interesting. And then we're gonna need some shredded lettuce. You can buy your own prepackaged shredded lettuce. You can cut your lettuce yourself. You can kind of use whatever type of leafy greens you prefer. Bobby grew this in his little garden tower, so we had the pleasure of utilizing this. But whatever leafy green is fine. I think they use romaine at Taco Bell. Not showcase, but add some green onions, I believe. But now we're gonna make our little seasoning mixture. So first we're gonna add some paprika for some spice and heat. Next we're gonna add some garlic powder. All right, next we're gonna add some cumin. And we're gonna add some onion powder as well. Next we're gonna add some chili powder for some more heat. Feel free to use kind of whatever measurements you'd like. This is what we were doing, but you're free to do whatever your heart desires. My assistant's being very, very exact with his measurements for that salt. And then this looks like some dried basil from the garden tower. Don't quote me on that. Maybe basil or oregano, I'm not sure. And then last but not least, we'll add some pepper. And now we'll give it a good little mixy mix. Making my way around town, walking fast faces pass and I'm homebound okay let's get cooking we're already cooking so you want to saute those onions you previously diced feel free to add a little bit more salt to them and then we're gonna add our assorted spices to our ground beef will not be eating under seasoned food here. That will not be acceptable. So lately it's been raining in Chicago, which is not very fall-like, so what is that about? Also, I'm in this reading marathon going on right now. Currently 12 books ahead of my annual goal, guys. It's really exciting. Some of my past favorite books I've read recently were 
the Folk of Air series, Powerless by Lauren Roberts, How Does It Feel by Janine O'Reilly, and Wildfire by Hannah Grace. If you want to be friends on Goodreads, let's be friends on Goodreads. Let me know what you've been reading recently. I'm always looking for new book recs. Make sure you chop, chop, chop up that meat. You don't want to taste that weird raw meat texture. Ugh. And look how good those onions are looking. Oh, wow. Cute. And because we want to get that crisp with our makeshift tostadas, we're going to throw some tortillas in the oven. Make sure you stir your onions so they don't get burnt. And now the production begins. And I'm going to note that the layers I gave you before were the official Google search results. My assistant seems to be doing a different order and that's okay. We're going to add some cheese to our tortilla and we're going to add some of this special Taco Bell creamy chipotle sauce which is absolutely delicious. I'm obsessed with it. Next, it looks like we're gonna add our crunchy tostada. We're gonna add some of our very nicely seasoned ground beef to our crunch wrap. And then we're gonna add in our cold ingredients. So we have some tomatoes, we're adding our leafy greens and then we're adding our green onion as well look at those professional folding skills And now we're going to cook them so they're nice and crispy and yummy. Feel free to garnish as you please. And yeah, you got yourself a crunch wrap supreme. First bite. Ooh, it's so warm. Yeah, it might be very hot. Now with the sauce. The sauce. It is very good. I probably use an excessive amount of it, but that's okay. Because it, gonna, it makes uh, me happy. <laughs> I'm just doing a bite. I don't know how you're doing this, I'm sorry. Ready? Slay. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this motivates you to try to make your own Crunchwrap Supreme because they're delicious. And thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next week. Otherwise, until then, until then, I guess, just have a good rest of your week. Bye.